All workers at Jurong Fishery Port will undergo a rostered routine testing every seven days. This will begin ahead of its reopening on Sunday. Trade visitors who are not on a similar testing regime will have to take an antigen rapid test before they can enter. They're among the safe management measures or SMMs being rolled out on the site of Singapore's largest active COVID-19 cluster. The first round of deep cleaning of JFP was done on 18 July and we will be conducting another round before it's reopened. Common areas and crates will be regularly cleaned during its operation. More frequent patrols will be carried out to ensure compliance with the SMMs. SFA has audited the SMM. It will progressively cover all the other key food facilities. These facilities will include Sinoko Fishery Port and Pasir Panjang Wholesale Centre. Nonetheless, Ms Fu says an alternative site is being made available for use in the event of another closure of a major food facility. Responding to queries, she also says authorities are considering requiring foreign crew who enter the ports to be vaccinated or undergo rapid testing. To date, 76% of workers at Jurong Fishery Port are fully vaccinated, while 86% have received at least one dose. Besides further improving vaccination results, Ms Fu noted that preliminary investigations at the port have identified lapses. The humid and laborious environment made, in, made it uncomfortable for workers to wear their masks for a prolonged period of time. This meant a higher propensity for workers to adjust their masks or take them off momentarily. Being a marketplace meant that the workers and traders mix freely throughout the facilities. Some contactless delivery measures were not strictly followed. With infections at markets and food centres likely linked to the port, Ms Fu says about 90% of workers at these premises, including stallholders and cleaners, have received at least one dose of the vaccine. She urged the public to follow safe management measures and keep these places clean.